Hi, Mike Marco, and in this video I want to talk to you about driving traffic to your offer. Now there's three different ways really, if you look at a, a different methods you can use for actually driving traffic to an offer. You've got social media, search engine optimization, and actually paid ads. Now social media, it's a slow way of building it up, you're building it following over time. Search engine optimization is when people type into Google or Bing or any of the five major search engines, your, your offer comes up, okay? All those take some time. But, and they're also not as scalable as paid ads. And this is one of the reasons why when you start advertising, promoting your business, you need to consider all three different methods of doing this because you need to have a social media presence, the branding, you need to have search engine optimization when people are typing in search engines to find you because those are very targeted leads. But if you want to get in front of people who may not even know that you have a, a business, or you might even not even know at this point they actually need your services and, and, your, and your products, that's where paid advertising is, so you can get yourself right in front of them. And I have an example here of an ad that we've been running here uh, for the past couple of weeks, and it has been performing really, really well. And that's why I want to give it as an example here, is because uh, it's, it's a really good example of uh, the copy and the type of thing you need to consider when you're doing an ad like this case here is the Facebook ad. Okay, again, one of my one of my favorite types of doing paid ads is Facebook because it's such a large audience on Facebook. They have such a great advertising platform that you can really get yourself in front of a target audience that's really could be interested in your particular business. So in this case here, you can see we've got here a pretty good reach, and um, you can see here that after about one hundred twenty five dollars for a couple of weeks now at, at uh, ten dollars a, a day. That this is the important number here is the cost per conversion. These are the number of leads we're actually getting, the cost per lead coming in conversion. So it means that they see the advertisement, they opt into the into the capture page, and then become a lead. That's really important because if you think about it, when you have to start collecting contact information and you can remarket those people, that is really where all the value is when you're doing advertising. Because when you start collecting the contact information and re start doing follow-ups and so on, those leads that's when start turning into sales. Okay, and having our costs around two dollars is actually pretty good, especially for the offer that we're doing for this ad for. If you can imagine, see if you're you're selling a let's say a thousand dollar product, okay, and each lead is only two dollars. You can imagine if even if you're converting those leads to sales at a one percent, you're still doing really really well with regards to that particular offer, okay. And then you start considering the lifetime value of a customer, and we start promoting to them and have a good service, and they coming back. You can think that that two dollar lead has a lot of value, okay? So knowing what your end product is and how much you're gonna sell will dictate how much the price is, but $2 is like phenomenal for leads. And so, especially when you consider how well we're converting. And I wanna show you how we do this with an ad. So let's go further ado here, let's dive right in, okay? Okay, so you can see here, this is the ad here that we were using as an example here. And I wanna break down the different elements so what makes the ad to give the results that we had. Okay, so there's really is three different elements. You have the main copy at the top, Okay, we start off with a question. You have the image. The image is extremely important because the image is what gets clicked. You have the, and then you have the, the title here. Okay, and you also have the description too. It really is actually just four elements. So you have here, let's go break down the different elements here. First of all, the picture is very, very important. So in this case here, we're, we're promoting for someone who is in the network marketing space. And we really want to do is get come across with the branding. Okay, now the image is extremely important. The image is really what's going to grab someone's attention. But it also needs to be congruent with on the next page. We'll cover briefly in the capture page we create for this as well. But this needs to be congruent with the next page, but it also needs to be something that's going to really be um, something that grabs the attention. It's going to stop scrolling through the Facebook feed because there's a lot of noise in Facebook. And again, it starts to brand. And the other thing you need to do is the title here, close like, how to close like a champ. It's really for, because of the people we're targeting who are having, probably having trouble closing and getting uh, uh, sales and, and new clients and people in an organization. Um, having a strong call to action like this, how to close like a champ, is extremely important because what it's going to do, it's going to reach out to them and, and answer something they probably think about or in the back of their mind. You have here, then you have a little bit of copy here. It's basically telling them what they're going to get. So it grabs more of the attention, followed by, you know where you have, um, if, you're doing, if you've ever done Facebook ads, you have an area there where you can actually have the display link. Um, that case here, we actually use it as an opportunity to actually has a call to action. To, to do, in, in this case here, to, to click the button learn more. Learn more, okay, the button there is it's important because the button, what it does is it, it increases, it basically tells someone to click there to learn that information. Now there's lots of different buttons you can choose. From everything that we've been able to test and everything we've learned, 
the learn more button, you usually get more click-throughs, okay, using learn more than you do anything else, because they're going to want to learn more what's on the other side. Okay. So let's start off here on the copy. So you have now here the basics of the ad itself, okay, why each part is important. The important part of the copy, and this is what they're going to see probably right at the very beginning of the feed, is the initial statement. And here, what we actually like to do is we like to start with a question, okay, this is kind of a partial statement question. Uh, if you don't know me, but wouldn't it cool didn't have to worry about closing a deal with your prospect, okay? So really what it does, it addresses something really important. We're actually running this to cold traffic. These people have no idea who this individual is, and so by addressing that right away, you kind of start handling some of those objections. Like, who are you? Why would I want to listen to you? And so you, what you do is you start with a question. The thing about a question is as soon as you pose a question, it gets stuck in, 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 our, in our brains, and the next thing we want to do, automatically we want to have that answered, otherwise we're going to be pondering it in our mind. And so you start leading into the next part here is most people don't understand if you, if you just double your conversions, you can double your income. It's just the way it is. So you then another question is, we follow up with is, how do you double your conversions? So basically we're leading these questions, leading our reader into different steps into the ad copy to get to one or more. So now we have here is, we've asked the question, um, do you want to have to worry about closing a deal with a prospect? And then how to double your conversion rates? Okay, now we got these questions in the mind, they're stacking up, says, now how do I do this? That's what the individual reading the ad is. And they've gotten this far here, what they're thinking. So we immediately address it. In this 90 minute, I'm gonna break down in, in such a way that will make sense, okay? So, Cause a lot, and you'll probably attend a few webinars. Again, we're, now we start handling the objections that people are normally have when they attend webinars, is that, um, th the most people, they're really, for the most part, a lot of webinars out there are just fluff. They talk, people talk about themselves and, and, and the background, and they might have like maybe five or 10% of actual value. We wanted to address that right away, okay? So there's actually be value in this particular webinar for 90% of it with a close at the end for 10%, five, 10%. So we wanna make sure they know there's a lot of value gonna be happening in this. And so he has he talks about here about the, why the trains are like maps, things you can action right away, and things you can implement right away. Okay, so you get more information by clicking below. What that is, is call to action. And then we immediately, what we do here is we actually address that yes, they're gonna have to put their email in next. Okay, so there's no surprises, you know, right away, okay, if you want more information, you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to provide your email here. We'll kind of give them a heads up so they're not surprised. There's not gonna be, you're not gonna have like a, a higher balance rate because they know what they expect. We very start, handling, start asking questions, they start thinking about the problems they're having already. We start handling the objections, and then we say right away, click, click below to, to see more information. Oh, by the way, we're gonna be asking for email. So right away, this is kind of counterproductive to a lot of people, the way people do ads. What they wanna do is they kinda of wanna surprise the actual individual, and that's not the thing we wanna do at all. You wanna start handling the objections that people are thinking about, address them head on. That's really gonna make a big difference in your ad copy, and it's one of the reasons why we have such a great click-through rate, and even a conversion rate on these ads, because we're telling them what to expect. Okay, so you want more information, click below, yes, you can ask for email, and then we tell them what the value is gonna be. They're gonna see this 100, 108 long minute, minute video, so now they know what to expect. That's free, okay, and then it's being given away. Now, this is the thing is too, is that normally what happens is an individual who actually, the only reason you have, the way you have access to his videos is if you actually pay for something, okay, and he gives it, or he, he charges for it. So this is actually the first time we've given away for free, so we're actually being legitimately telling people that is for free, and that's important too when you're doing any kind of ad copy. Be truthful, be, uh, uh, be um, you wanna be sure you're accurate, you're not, you're not falsifying anything, you wanna be completely above board and say it the way it is, okay? Don't, don't try to make things up to get people to click through. Because it really, it comes down to your integrity and it really comes long term for clients. They're gonna find out anyway that this is not the case. So this is why you want to do it, you want to be congruent here. So what we do here, we have then finally get it here, click call to action. So we have actually have multiple calls to action in this ad. We have one here at the bottom here in this bit.ly link for tracking. We have a call to action here to learn more. And then we actually, if you click the actual um, uh, picture here, all these different ways of actually being able to uh, click through. And also this here display URL here, it also does it as well. Okay, so we have all these different ways here of actually being able to do that to actually get people to, um, to get to the next page, okay? So you can see here, we've got, like I said, we have a question at the very beginning to draw people in, okay? To hit one of the things that they're interested in. We have the title that grabs their attention because it's about closing. So they know it's about closing. They know about closing deals with a prospect. You draw them in, handle their objections, okay? And then have a call to action in 
where you actually bring them in. So now we talked about that. This is the ad copy, the basic ad copy and the basic principles of what we did. Now what you want to do is look at the actual ad itself. Now this ad was actually designed for mobile devices. So it looks kind of funny this way. So what I'm going to do is to make this easier to read. I'm actually going to shrink this down so it actually looks like it's on the mobile device. So this is normally how it'll look. Okay. So you can see here, again, you want to make sure it's congruent now. This, this particular case is extremely important to be congruent. Everything the information you've, you've told people ahead of time, you're actually being congruent again here too. So how to upsell and sell without having a, a big list or a budget. So that's the kind of things you want to make sure you do is be completely congruent to what you had before. Okay. You don't want to have any surprises. Okay. So, um, so what you want to do is make sure that they're not being surprised. Um, and then you can tell them you're going to enter the email below. So, okay. So that's actually here. What happened is that it's going to have, it's basically information here to click the button to open it up and then it pops up right away here to, so they can enter the email and their name. Okay. And I want access now. Okay. This is performing really well. Okay. This is an amazing ad and it's really what it does because he's paying only $2 for each one of his leads. It's a phenomenal deal. He's, he's actually going to be doing really well as asset given what the overall value is on the back end of this. Now, there's a lot to doing ads. Okay, we've covered a lot of ground here. And there's a lot of things, different things you can do with Facebook ads for targeting specifically the target audiences and all that stuff that really reaches out to your particular audience. If you want help on doing your ads, okay, I'm more than happy to help you out, especially for your business and getting those ads out there so that we can reach your customer. So you can focus on what you do best is running your business and, and what I can do is actually help run those those targeted Facebook ads and those gain those those just inexpensive quality leads that can actually help turn into paying customers and clients for you in the future. So if you want to have that, there's gonna be a link somewhere probably either above or below this you can do is schedule uh, an hour long session with me where I can go over the entire come up with strategy, overall marketing strategy for you. And particularly if you're interested in the Facebook ads for your business, we can talk about how to do that and how where we want to drive the traffic. So you get the biggest bang for your buck for your business. Okay. So again, make sure you click the, click the link, go ahead and you can do is you can register to become a client and then we can set up a session, either Skype or, or go to a meeting or something like that. So what we can actually do is actually share the screens and talk about an overall plan for you. Okay. So I look forward to working with you. I hope this video has helped and stay tuned for future videos of things you can do to actually help grow your business to taking advantage of the internet. Take care.